What's up, everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School, and today I'm going to be doing a follow-up review on the Core Battle Belt. everybody like I said we're gonna be doing a uh, follow-up video to the core battle belt here um, if you missed my initial review video please go back in and check that out uh, I'll have it linked in at the end of this video as well too uh, but just a brief little synopsis I've got the battle belt I've got the core mag pouches uh, I do have a couple of G-code mag pouches on here just because I didn't have enough of the core mag pouches to actually complete the belt like I would like it. Uh, of course, got my holster, got my med kit, and then I've also got a dump pouch. You know, you could throw a knife on here if you wanted to. Some people do, some people don't. You know, something to hold your ears. Okay, there's there's many different things that you can do with your battle belt, but for mine, I've got two mag, two three pistol mag pouches, three rifle mag pouches, um, and the reason I've got some on the side where my gun is is just in case I ever have to do some offhand training or even offhand manipulation, depending on what the scenario or whatever might happen because it's a little easier to get to them when they're on this side and that's why i've only got one of each on this side depending on you know what hand we're using or what hand i have to use depending on the situation so i know some people have asked me why i've got mag pouches on both sides that's why i've got them on both sides but again this is a follow-up review on the battle belt and the mag pouches as well too uh, because I wanted to really run this thing before I did a follow-up review. Uh, I've got an initial video for the mag pouches, both the rifle and pistol initial video for the belt. I will have those linked in some way, shape, or form. Might be up here at the top somewhere, or they might be linked in at the end. But this battle belt has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, I have really run it through its paces. I've used and abused the belt. Uh, it's it's done very very good I must say it is done very very good for the abuse I've given this thing uh, it might not you know I mean there you go of course now if we flip around you know, oh, it's gonna sag so it sags a little bit when it's not on but when you're wearing this thing this thing will hold some freaking weight all right, it's rated in between like 20, 30 pounds. But I'll be honest, I've had this thing freaking loaded down with full magazines, magazines in the dump pouch, extra ammo in the dump pouch. Of course, the gun. I mean, I've had this thing freaking loaded down and it has done absolutely phenomenal. It doesn't pull, has never pulled away from the inner belt, no matter what I've done with it, low crawling, moving around on the ground, all kind of crazy stuff. All right. You got to get out and you got to make sure your, your gear is going to hold up. That's another part to taking training classes. I won't lie. The mag pouches I was a little skeptical when I got them. Didn't seem quite that secure, but I have been thoroughly impressed with them. I mean, we've done standing up, dropping all the way to the gear, all the way to the ground, low crawling on the ground, all kind of crazy stuff you can think of in some of the training classes that I've taken. And no magazines have bounced out or fallen out or been pulled out or anything like that with everything that I've done. Even my canic mags, which are some pretty long magazines for these particular mag pouches, have hung in there. But of course, you've got your, your cords here 
so you can tighten loosen so they are universal you know i've had ar mags in here i've had ak mags in here i even threw in some uh f and ar 308 mags that were just pretty much straight you know straight mags kind of bulky and they fit down in here as well too so these are kind of universal what you would call some people call them taco mag pouches it's however you want to talk about them it doesn't really matter to me you know most people are going to understand what you're talking about but these have done very very well compared with the g-code because you know i was i was big on the g-code which i mean i still not saying g-code mags or mag pouches aren't worth it they are worth it but if you do want to have a complete core setup, they've got everything you need to the dump pouch, the med kit. This is what's what I already had from a previous belt. I wasn't going to make a lot of changes, uh, but I am looking at making some different setups with some different belts. But this has just been an awesome, awesome belt. The ratchet system has hung in there with me. Uh, it's been very easy to cut as I've lost weight and stuff. You just got to measure like your initial measures. You, but I always tell people, give yourself some room to play with. The buckles, you can still swap out the buckles for different looking buckles. I'm fine with what's on here. I'm not worried about looking fancy or anything like that. So I've still got the initial belt buckle that was sent to me. Uh, that came with this, I should say. But yeah, I, I just can't say enough about this setup. It's It's been absolutely great. I've loved core belts. I was thoroughly excited when I saw they were getting ready to do battle belts, especially with how their system is set up. I don't have the inner belt out here. I'm not going through all that. That is in the initial uh, review unboxing video that I did to talk about how that inner belt works. but. This belt alleviates you having to take off your outer belt, adjust your inner belt, then put the outer belt back on. This system alleviates that, all right? So I highly suggest you go and get their battle belt. You're not gonna be disappointed. This will be the last belt that you probably ever wear. Another great thing that I've liked about it is a lot of your other battle or what they call duty belts are two inches wide. So for me, I'm still working on getting my belly off of me. So I've still got a little bit of a belly there. And with those two inch belts, it really digs in. Especially when I'm kneeling or bending over or depending on what type of positional drills we're doing, it digs in. And it not hurts, but it's just uncomfortable. Where this belt, inner belt, inch and a half, outer belt, inch and three quarter. So, a little bit thinner than or a little not as wide as what some of the other belts are and it gives me a little bit of room to work with these mag pouches the molly attachments are really easy to get in here and get set up you know i will say these were a lot easier to get onto the belt and get set up than what the g-codes were um these have gotten snagged and stuff like that you know, when I've been running drills or just moving around and they have not ripped or torn or cracked or anything like that. I mean, I have used and abused this belt and these mag pouches because I wanted to make sure this stuff is going to work. It is legit before I go and do my or my follow up review like what I'm doing here. It's because this year maybe longer since i did the initial review like i said i, I, I want to test my stuff and just a little bit here or there to me doesn't really test everything i wanted to get in some good classes get in some good drills and really really test this thing out and it has been absolutely amazing the other great thing about core they have what is now their what they call in their executive protection belt so if you run security but you don't want the duty belt with the molly attachments because i mean you know what you're looking at there you want to be a little bit more sleek a little bit more concealed a little bit more undercover then 
I would go with their executive protection belt because it is set up just like your battle belt here. It just doesn't have the Molly attachments. It's got a leather look to it. You know, it looks professional. So if you're doing professional security, executive protection, things like that, I highly suggest that you go and get that belt. Um, I'm working with them on getting one of those so I can give it a try and do a review on it for my competition shooters out there. They have a competition belt now too. Uh, I've got to do a little bit more reading. I just found out that they've got this. So I got to do a little bit more reading. Hopefully I can get one of those and try it out and give y'all a good review on those as well too. But of course their garrison belt, their EDC belt, their leather belt, battle belt, they've got belts galore. So go out there, go to coreessentials.com, get you a, one of their belts, okay? You will not be disappointed. One, another thing I will say, mag pouches, like I said, mag kits, dump pouches, you know, they've got holster attachments now. So they're really, really expanding what all they can offer with their belts and stuff. So please go out there and check them out. They've got shooting glasses and all kind of stuff that you need for training, practice, shooting, competition, executive protection, whatever you might be doing, they've got the belt and the equipment for you. So again, that's coreessentials.com. And don't forget my code, SCGS10, just like South Carolina Gun School, it's just abbreviated. SCGS10, that will get you a discount. I'll have both the website and my code somewhere up in here or down in here, wherever I decide I wanna put it. All right, so make sure you get out to their website. You're not gonna be disappointed with anything that you get from them. So far, I've been very, very impressed and I plan on using more of their stuff, getting some more of their stuff, getting some great reviews out there for you. Always remember folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.